Hi guys, this is Elle and I am here with Curleen from Joie de Vie Wedding and Events, wedding planner coordinator extraordinaire. Thank you. Very <laughs> kind of you. Welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. And thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know I always love sneaking in here. Yes. So your space is amazing. <laughs> Curleen is known in the industry by me personally for being a very keep it real on top of things wedding planner, which is one of the things I love most about her amongst a lot of different things. So I have invited her into the studio today to talk about unexpected wedding costs. We all know from Google and the Knot and Wedding Wire, all of the obvious expenses from your wedding day. We have those cost spreadsheets that break down everything, mm -hmm. but it doesn't talk about things like who pays for hair and makeup for your bridesmaids, mm -hmm. um, who pays for you know some of the other events leading up to it. We do have a hurricane that's gracing us this weekend. Not one, but two. Two. <laughs> How do you plan for stuff like that? You know, we are in Florida, so mm -hmm. things like that happen. So, Carlina is going to educate us a little bit on some unexpected wedding costs that you should keep in mind. Um, obviously, everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different, which is why it's great to have a wedding planner on board who can help you with these things that you just don't know to even ask. Um, but this will kind of give you a good starting point on some things that you may not have already thought of. So... You ready for me? I'm ready for okay. you. Hit me. All right. <laughs> Elle, I love working with Elle because she's a very keep it real person herself. Yes. So thank you so much for having me in Absolutely. the studio today. I um, am very grateful and I'm sure you probably have the same sentiment that I work with some amazing clients. Mm -hmm. um, we're very grateful for our clients and the fact that they let us into such an intimate moment mm -hmm. in their lives. So um, we wanna make sure that everything goes well. I always tell our couples, you're only getting married, God willing, once. Mm -hmm. We do this almost every weekend, every, not weekend. every other weekend. Um, so we have the ability to kind of see some things that you may not necessarily see. So mm -hmm. from the first cons consultation when they come in um, to see see us at our studio, one of the things we talk about is wedding insurance. Um, and there are two types that people should be aware of. There's liability and cancellation. Liability you tend to get all the time. Um, liability, depending on your guest count, will probably run you 90 to like $150. Okay. And so for What's us, that? I didn't realize it was that affordable. No, it's not. A, it's not an. Ex, it's not expensive at all. Yeah. It's actually pretty inexpensive. Yeah. So we build it into the budget when we're okay. talking to our clients. Um, and then cancellation is that other piece. That variable mm -hmm. can run anywhere from one fifty to five hundred dollars. It okay. honestly just depends on what levels of coverage you get. Okay. And the policies vary, but the key things that they cover are cancellations that or not necessarily cancellations or but more so incidences that may arise that are not necessarily liability mm. incidences so your liability is going to cover the building where you're having the wedding mm. if there's damage to the property um, if a guest um, ends up having an issue once they leave your wedding as a result of being a guest at your wedding. One of our former clients who's an attorney told us about um, a discussion that happened in their attorney group. So it's a mm. great example of why wedding insurance is important. I think you and I had talked about I it. I feel like we have had this yes. talk, yes. So there was a photographer, it was not Elle, um, <laughs> in South Florida, I believe it was, Oh yes, that hung um, the wedding dress from the sprinkler system mm -hmm. of a hotel. Mm -hmm. First of all, what were you thinking? Mm -hmm. And what, what, who are you, first of all, okay? <laughs> that's, that's one. Two, um, I know all of my photographers, y'all normally bring like your hooks, your, we your have commands, hooks. Yes. Just, like yes. they bring their things to hang stuff. Absolutely. And, if they're, and even if you are hanging from a chandelier, you also have to be careful with that too. Yeah. So as professionals, we carry insurance, mm -hmm. okay? So that's one thing you wanna ask your Absolutely. people too that you're hiring, do they carry liability insurance? So mm -hmm. we carry insurance in case we do something idiotic. Um, and that's what she's talking about. I can't hear her. <laughs> um, in case you do something idiotic, or if there's an accident, which um, we're, we're, we're the cause to, mm -hmm. so um, that protects us. So in this case, perfect example, sir hung the dress, sprinkler system went off, caused eight floors of water damage in the hotel. Thankfully, did not damage the ballroom where the girl's wedding was taking oh place. But unfortunately, hair and makeup was being done in this space. Wow. So, this is where wedding insurance and wedding cancellation, mm -hmm. that postponement insurance, both would fit in. One, the wedding, um, the hotel sued the bride. Wow. 
eight floors of damage. Yeah, yeah she's getting yeah, sued. Yeah, yeah. The hotel sued the bride, um, and then she in turn turned around and sued the vendor. Wow. So she should. That gives me goosebumps. She that is so scary. But she should. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, one, the your liability insurance would have covered the damage in the hotel. Um, so that would have covered that. Mm -hmm. And then her postponement cancellation insurance would have kicked in, and this is why. Where the friend of ours hung the dress was where hair and makeup was being done. Her hair was ruined. All the girls' hair and makeup was ruined. Dresses got wet. So, um, I think they figured out how to dry stuff to where it didn't damage stuff. Her wedding was delayed a few hours. Wow. So, all of that additional cost that she probably incurred from the DJ mm -hmm. um, and other vendors that were being paid for certain services, I'm sure she accumulated some additional time. Right. That cancellation policy would potentially offset some of that. Mm -hmm. um, it would have even gone as far as, let's say the whole day was ruined and she now had to just do her pictures another day. It um, has, depending on the company, will also paid to redo certain things so that you can reenact mm. those photos and pay that photographer. So that's where that that's cancellation huge. piece kicks in. We've had instances over the years where because of a hurricane or mm -hmm. a storm, um, events get canceled or postponed as well. And so where your postponement insurance would kick in, Irma's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. um, we had that a was client. A big one. <clears throat> I had a wedding in South Florida. We were in Coral wow. Gables. My groom lived in New York, so his family, they were all flying in from New York. I called him like on that Sunday. I was like, we have a hurricane next weekend. <laughs> so, by the way. By the way, <laughs> let's start <laughs> contingency planning. Yeah. And he was like, oh no, nothing's gonna happen. I said, okay, that's fine. I called all the vendors and got like, okay, eight weeks out, how many dates do you have available? Mm -hmm. So that we could at least start our coordination as yes. to what um, the new date would be, just mm -hmm. in case. And um, he was like, no, we're still gonna have a wedding. Well, then a state of emergency was declared. Right. And so now you had people in South Florida evacuating to yes. Georgia. Which and there were curfews and active. And there were curfews. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so there were three of his vendors that were like, we're leaving the right. state. So they were no longer available. And then finally the venue um, was like, yeah, we're in a flood zone. Um, you need to pick a new date. <laughs> so by now, he had flown into Florida. So now we re, um, rescheduled for like six weeks later. It was now sep mm. sep September, it was October. So everything that she had that had dates on it, seating chart, custom aisle runner, custom ring box, your postponement insurance would have helped replace all mm -hmm. of that. But the kicker was the airline tickets. They now had to fly back. Right. So he would have gotten some level of reimbursement mm -hmm. from that. Um, and then in her case, in their case, the flowers, we had an amazing florist. Mm -hmm. um, let's say all those flowers were in. So that's perishable. They of can't course. keep that for yep. six weeks. Yep. You can't use it on somebody else's wedding that weekend because all of his other florals were damaged. Mm -hmm. um, he was very gracious because he was able to go through his insurance and get that reimbursed and our client didn't have to pay for her flowers nice. again. So those Which are again, the benefits of hiring a professional. <laughs> exactly. And so by the time he came to terms, with okay we're really not having a wedding mm -hmm. we had already taken care of all that stuff in the background nice. and we're able to present this is what we're doing yeah. so mm -hmm. now one thing i did learn because we, these are constantly evolving so one thing i did learn is while your wedding rings are going to be covered by your insurance your engagement ring is not really no because it's not important for that day the wedding ring oh, so you do need day. separate insurance for your engagement ring and you and that is something that we always we have on our yes. checklist yeah so you'll see people like buy it and uh, make sure your engagement ring is covered by your insurance and a lot of people do it through our homeowners yes policy yes, so yes, yes. yeah so um and then it doesn't cover a change of heart if you decide that you know what I love you but I don't want to marry you <laughs> um, that is not going to be covered by your insurance so change of heart is not covered mm -hmm. but it helps cover some some of them cover some medical things let's say so there's a medical emergency or things so there's which I have things seen I've seen couples move wedding dates up because maybe a grandparent fell ill or a parent mm -hmm. fell and they really want them to attend right and so and you have to look things specifically up. at the policy so mm -hmm. there's different little caveats that you can add on and what fluctuates the price is when you go in um, a great uh, resource is WebSafe, Wedding Protector Plan, Event Helper. Those are the three go-to websites I like to use okay. and awesome. cost comparison um, shop because they actually give you different options and they give you different levels. Um, um, heaven forbid your venue that you just book and fell in love with three months later burns down. 
And we have we actually had a venue in Orlando recently that's just completely closed down. They're completely closed yeah, down. Just shut yeah. down for business. And, that um, happens. And the poor caterer um, went into preservation of their clients mode and they did an amazing job just getting their clients to new venues mm -hmm. um, because that was beyond their control. Yeah, right, right, right. So, um, and, and we don't tell you this to scare you in any kind of way. It's the reality. These are far <laughs> few, but yeah. they do occur. So it's something to think about that sometimes people won't tell you. Right. You don't and in that case, thankfully, they didn't lose their deposit. Yeah. But we've had some venues um, around the country that just go bankrupt. Right. Um, or, um, what was the bridal shop a few years ago? They closed their doors. Yes, Alfred Angelo. Yes. So, um, and you know, if people had Completely their dresses. one day to the next, yeah. Yep. If people were able to get their dresses and the staff there worked with getting girls their dresses, mm -hmm. but there were instances where people lost money. So yes. that would actually cover that too. So, you know, looking at this weekend's wedding, thankfully my bride and groom are local, but their families are traveling in from South Florida. So I'm mm -hmm. sure they're probably getting mm -hmm. their homes ready for a storm before they start heading up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, the great thing is, is like here in Central Florida, we have some amazing professionals, Absolutely. And, and we know how to we know how to flip a room. We can flip a room in an hour, and a room flip is basically if your ceremony's here, we'll think about okay, how are we rearranging the decor mm -hmm. to ensure that um, it still works because mm -hmm. we're now inside. So in this case, because we're going, if we have to go inside, I'm not. I'm trying to still have hope. Yes. <laughs> if we have to go inside this weekend for my client, here here comes an unexpected cost. Mm -hmm. um, the space that we're in, because of their guest count, we would have to have the ceremony in the same space as the reception space. So do we want her guests looking at the tables on either side or are we going to drape? Mm -hmm. That drape decision is a fourteen to $1,500 decision. Mm. Um, we had a wedding in Daytona a few years ago at the Casements, which is like this amazing outdoor venue. There's no B plan. It's all open air. Mm, which I love sky. for photography. Yes, yes. Yes. You in the sky. Well, we had to look at weather. So, you know, we can't really tell weather until about maybe two weeks out. Mm -hmm. And then it said there's a high possibility of rain. And so um, in our planning process, that was something we had discussed. If we have to go inside, what's going to happen? Well, there it's all open air. There's no place mm -hmm. to go. So we had to go to the reception space. That decision meant that we now had to move the ceremony to where our after party was mm. and we had to bring in drape. That was a $2,500 decision wow. for our client. So those are, that's like, drape is probably the most extreme yes, part yes, of that. Yes, yes, yes. But um, you know, if you, unexpected expenses like you know, in this case, if you are having to change from one location to the next, um, mm -hmm. It might affect timing for hair and makeup. So now you have to get a suite at a hotel versus the location. You may have location. to extend the time you that you have your vendors. Exactly. Um, you may have to go to an hour and a half cocktail. So those are things mm -hmm. that you, those are those unexpected situations that you want to kind of budget for. Um, when you're looking at your budget, realistically, um, give yourself like a five to 10% cushion. I was going to say for yes. what if. Don't spend up to that very, very, very mayor max. Because there's mm -hmm. always... Even if it's not those huge things, there's going to be right. little things that mm -hmm. maybe you didn't mm -hmm. think about the cost of bustling your dress or now all of a sudden you wanted a veil when you didn't want a veil or you want to add right. video when mm -hmm. you didn't have that now. You should have video. Yes, you Sorry. should. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, video is always that first thing that people want to cut out. Mm -hmm. um, and so I always tell people, mm, you know, if you if you absolutely don't want to do it, we have to respect that. Right. But if you are able to do it, it's one of those things like um, we did a wedding in Dallas and the groom said the most profound thing. I was like, God, that's genius. I'm stealing that. <laughs> um, he said, photography tells the story, mm -hmm. but video is the story. Mm. I was like, oh, that's good. I was like, wait, let me write that down. That and I told him, I told the You're video You're going to give me his name so I can quote him. I, was, I will. I told <laughs> the video company, that needs to be your tagline. Yes. Like, I was like, wow, because it's true. you hear it, you feel it. Photography evokes that emotion, but mm -hmm. you can't hear it. Right. You know, you can't hear the cheers. You can see it, mm -hmm. but you can't hear it. Mm -hmm. And then I've always said, you know, there's always a loved one that passes on. And so to be able to go back in video and hear that voice. Right. And see them right there. See them Right in front there. of you, yeah. 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 So you know, to me, those are those those things that you want to make sure that you capture. Mm -hmm. We did a video one. Um, we did a wedding once where it was in May, and the grandmother passed away in October. Mm. And when they got their video, because you know the bride and groom um, may not necessarily see when the parents walk in. 
right. Miss Thing, there's a lot of things they don't see. Yeah. Miss Thing danced down the aisle like it was like <laughs> life giving. It, it was it the was grandmother. The grandmother. Oh my gosh, she she danced oh, and sat down amazing. the aisle. And so, um, thankfully, great photography. They had formal photos of her that were used from the wedding right. for her funeral program. But they played that mm. video of her like her in a little nutshell. I'm sure that's amazing. That's like you can tell she was sassy too. Yeah. So, but. You have that forever. Yes. You have yes. that forever. You can hear her laugh. You can hear, you can see her emotion. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, life-giving. Mm -hmm. yep. And that professional that you've hired, it's their job to capture it, but it's our job to make sure that they have the time to mm -hmm. be their creative selves. So when I'm harping on Elle, like, how much time, how much time, how much mm -hmm. time, she's looking at me like, if you don't sit down. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she's looking at me. And then when the couple doesn't get the images that right. they're like, well, what happened? Well, Carlene didn't give me any time to shoot it. Well, you didn't have <laughs> no time on your contract. But this is also true. But you know that reality is let's make sure that you mm -hmm. have everything in place. You're spending too much money to not have fun. Right. You're spending too much money to not get what you paid for. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and it's not that it's an exorbitant expense to add on a few extra hours. It's you easier know? to add it on the front end than on the day of. Because a lot of professionals charge you more the day of if you're adding yes. it on. And it's as long as you kind of budget and you have that wiggle room, mm -hmm. then it makes sense. Yeah. And another unexpected expense is because XYZ vendor ran late, so now it's causing everything else to run late. That tends to happen a lot with hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. Girl, my number one, and I tell my couples, number one reason your wedding will run late is hair and makeup. So, I was, it's true. So, when a makeup artist tells me, oh, I'm only 30 minutes, no, you don't. You need 45. <laughs> Budget 45. But that is why we recommend professionals who we know are professional and timely. Yes. yes. When we're looking at time, that's where you can end up spending more money if Absolutely. you don't allocate enough time. So we always cushion by about 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But one, one thing that's cost saving is you have everybody in that space mm -hmm. at the same time. That way, if they start to run ahead, you're not delayed. Um, and additionally, if you're, if you're saying, you know, um, so and so doesn't need to be here until twelve because you know they're they're getting their makeup done at twelve. Well, what if they get caught in traffic? Right. What if something happens. Or so they now, forget something. So now it throws it throws everything off. And I know a lot of hair and makeup artists they explicitly will do the bride last. Yes. That is like a hard and fast rule, and it should be. It's your day. Mm -hmm. um, it's a hard and fast rule for them. So um, all your people that now run late. They throw everything off mm -hmm. and I always ask my brides in that first meeting who's paying for hair and makeup are you paying for it or are your wedding party members paying for it mm -hmm. and so the question is like well do I have to well let's discuss <laughs> yeah so, yeah if you want a specific look a specific hairstyle and you only want um, ABC makeup artists mm -hmm. to do it um, one what is that going to cost so realistically look at your wedding party mm -hmm. are they able to afford it right um are, and you know your girlfriends and your boyfriends yeah would they pay for it <laughs> let's be real and okay. i have seen people drop out of wedding parties because they've been asked to pay for things that they didn't expect or right they just and, can't afford it right and it and life happens yes i had one bride actually sit down and kind of figure out what she wanted and she went to the bridesmaid and said this is what it's going to cost to be a bridesmaid in my wedding mm -hmm. are you good Nice. Okay. Uh, and if you're not, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Yeah. And you have to be honest with yourself that right. it's not going to hurt your feelings. Now, if you are insisting upon them having a certain look, you may want to consider paying that service and just gifting it to them. That way there's no hemming mm -hmm. and hawing. And mm -hmm. those are things that you kind of have to ask yourself mm -hmm. from the beginning. Um, am I paying for it or will my bridal party be paying for it? And also understand too that your wedding party, they are paying hopefully to host a shower for you mm -hmm. and possibly a bachelorette weekend. So those expenses do start to add up. Right. Um, and so How about the dresses? Who buys the the bridesmaids dress. Wedding party is expected to buy their own dress. Okay. I've had two weddings where the bride and groom um, actually purchased the the dresses for mm -hmm. the couple. Okay. Um, for their. But party. again, it's a conversation that has to be had because right. if you've never been a bridesmaid in a wedding, maybe you, you don't, don't realize that you have to buy your own that. dress yeah. or rent your own tux. Mm -hmm. And um, renting a tux can get expensive. Absolutely. With shoes, you're looking at two eighty. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you might be better off looking at just buying a suit, buying a suit from yes. Macy's or yes. you know your large department stores mm -hmm. um, and then picking a more reasonable shoe that way they can have something to keep yep. in the end um, but I've had I've had two two weddings where the um, couple paid for the expenses because that was just their desire they didn't they wanted their friends to come mm -hmm. their friends threw them the can I cut this on your blog? sure they threw them the <laughs> kick ass <laughs> That's not a cuss word. Oh, okay. <laughs> the most kick-ass bachelorette weekend and bachelor nice. party. It was like, I was like reading that term. I was like, oh my God, this is uh, really cool. Um, yeah. So, so again, I want to thank Kerleem for stopping by and dropping some truth bombs. Tons of great information. Thank you. Highly appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so tell us where they can find you online. You can find me online on all platforms at Joie de Vie Events. Awesome. So thanks again for being here. We'll put all of our contact information at the bottom. And yeah. We'll Thank you, you guys for having time. me. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.